Hey, honey bee. I called as soon as I got your text. What's wrong? A hard day at work, huh? You do look pretty rough. What happened? Do I need to buy a plane ticket and come over there and beat someone up? Are you sure? Because I totally will. Seeing you so stressed just makes me worry about you. That's all. You're all the way over there and I'm all the way over here. It sucks that I can't just hug your troubles away. Do you want to tell me about what happened? Maybe talking about it will help you feel better. Mm-hmm. Oh. They said that? Are you serious? Ugh, honey. You know that's not your fault, right? Good. You did your best in that situation, and that's what matters. Didn't you say something similar happened recently, too? It makes me so frustrated, and I don't even work there. I really don't like how you aren't being taken seriously, though. I'm happy you tried to speak up at least. Being confident in this situation is the best thing you can do. You're a good person, and I know you would do the right thing regardless of the circumstances. <laughs> That's why I love you, silly. From the moment we met, I could tell just by the way you talked that you were so... genuine. I really like that about you. I'm sure your boss sees that too. You don't have anything to worry about. Of course I think so. When you were talking to me earlier, I could tell how seriously you take your job and how you felt. If you were in the wrong, I don't think you would be telling me about the situation the way you did. Thank you for sharing that with me. I know talking about the stressful stuff can be difficult sometimes. Me? Easy to talk to. <laughs> Thank you, honey. You're my person, and you deserve someone who has your back when you need it. Of course I mean it. You're always so supportive of me. I would be a horrible girlfriend if I didn't reciprocate. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. You're making me blush. <laughs> There's that smile I know and love. I want to see more of that. You hear me? Wait. Why are you moving off camera? I know you're blushing. Come back here where I can see that cute blush. Please. There we go. Oh, you're too cute. I'm so lucky to be in love with someone who's as adorable as you are. Remember the first time we video called? I was so nervous. I spent like two hours beforehand trying to put on makeup. I redid my eyeliner so many times trying to get it perfect that I ended up with dark circles under my eyes for three days. But when you picked up, we started talking. All my worries just melted away. I didn't feel uncomfortable or like I had to be someone that I'm not. You just have this way about you that makes me feel confident and melty on the inside at the same time. And I'm blushing again. 
Just talking to you makes my heart so happy. You look better. Have you eaten yet? Oh? What did you have? That sounds really good, actually. I had a salad at work today, but they ran out of ranch and I nearly cried. Ranch is life, okay? Don't laugh at me. <laughs> okay, okay. You can laugh a little bit. But just a little bit. You know how I like my salads? It's more like a ranch soup with some leeks thrown in. And you've watched me cook on video chat before. You're aware of how incompetent I am in the kitchen. Remember the time I put a macaroni cup in the microwave and forgot to add water? The house smelled like burnt plastic for months. The worst part was, you watched me put it in there and you didn't even say anything. What am I holding? Just the stuffed Squishmallow you sent me for my birthday. When I really miss you, I squeeze him super tight and pretend I'm hugging you. I know it's cheesy, but how can I not think about hugging you? Have you seen yourself? Every inch of you just screams huggable. There you go, blushing again. Who knew you were such a sucker for my cheesiness? You want to know about my day? Uh, it was fairly uneventful. I trained a new coworker from another store and closed earlier than usual. The store was pretty dead, so we got most of the closing chores out of the way fairly quickly. I also got paid yesterday, so I ordered my plane tickets. There was a pretty good deal going on with. Oh, where am I going? Shit, <laughs> I wasn't supposed to tell you. I ratted myself out, didn't I? Well, I'm coming to visit you. Yes, I'm serious. I wouldn't lie about something like this. <sighs> Your smile is just adorable. I can't wait to see it in person. It's been a long time coming, and I know you've been so stressed with what's been going on. I figured it was high time for a hug and some long overdue cuddles. It'll be so nice to be wrapped up in your arms at last. It's all I've been able to think about since I bought the tickets. Since we hired more employees at work, I'm finally able to take some time off. My hands were literally shaking from excitement when I was booking the flight. It was kind of a spur-of-the-moment decision, because I was thinking maybe I'd surprise you on the upcoming holiday in a few months from now, but I just couldn't wait. It was gonna be a surprise, but I guess I kept rambling and let it slip. I can't stop smiling. I've been planning and saving for months. When am I coming? Well, you know how you said you have a few weeks off next month while your job undergoes renovations? I got the dates from your coworker we play online with, and I'll be coming then. You can take your time off work to de-stress, and we can have fun together. I already found a few things over there that I think would be so fun to do together. <laughs> I love you too, honeybee. Just think, not much longer and I'll be in your arms. I'll also be raiding your closet and stealing your sweatshirts, and possibly waking you up with some semi-burnt breakfast in bed. <laughs> I mean, who knows? Maybe I'll end up staying forever. <laughs>